Kane at the preparation of Greater Accra Metropolitan Area Structure Plan Inception Workshop was the Vice Chancellor for KNUST, Professor Kwesi Kwanfo Adakwa, say that their expectation is high about the structure plan of what is needed to be done in Ghana due to the challenges of uncontrollable rapid urban growth and many more. Considering Accra's unique and peculiar application, attempts must also be made for the data set to cover the following specific areas. High risk zones and flood prone areas, areas of ecological importance, major water bodies and forestry, as well as municipal infrastructure. Based on these four criteria, the fiscal extent of Ghana encompasses AMA and TMA, as well as the contiguous districts that have major arterial roads connecting them to AMA and TMA, together with the extent of traffic generated from or attracted to an MNBA within the greater Accra region. This way, the core region of the city region of Ghana can be defined to be all areas within the catchment area with intense interactions with the AMA. Ladies and gentlemen, from an operational view, the Ghana can also be defined to include the 12 out of the 16 MMPAs in the Greater Accra region. These 12 MMPAs are Accra Metropolitan, Ghana Metropolitan, Ghana West, Ghana East, Ghana South, Ghana Central, Adenta, Ashaiman, La Kadekotukon, Letukuku, La Mbantanan, and Kong Katamansu. Essentially, these include all the MMPs in Greater Accra region except Bingo from Brown, Shai, Osiroku, Ala East, and Ala West. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, from a development perspective, the Greater Accra region, and in particular the study area, has been dealt with several challenges, including uncontrolled and rapid urban growth, long journeys to work, housing shortage, very low traffic speeds along the areas of approach roads into and out of the city of Accra, and several other difficulties. However, these problems can now be tackled under the ages of the Accra Structure Plan. So, expectations are high about the Structure Plan and what we can do for them. This is one of the reasons why consultants should have an extensive and wide consultation. In addition, it will be useful to make good the various shortcomings identified in this report. Major components of the assignment is the translation of all the various policies and programs into spatial terms. Hence, the assignment should help us determine an appropriate urban form and spatial structure for Ghana to facilitate development control. How different is the current structure plan approach from the approach followed in carrying out the development of the According to the Chief Executive Officer for LUSPA, Mr. Kwadwoyaboa, in his presentation, stated that they are ready to put measures in physical development in place of designated in order to be used accordingly through community sensitization. Rampant land invasion and multiple sales of land, and the proliferation of land gas and natural disasters like floods. The continuing spoiling of Accra without adequate infrastructure is disturbing, expensive to manage, and not sustainable in the long term. Hence, the need to have a comprehensive structure plan with proper implementation and financial strategies to solve these challenges. By 1908, a more definitive survey and plan had been prepared for Accra, and in 2016, a new plan was created for Accra in response to the creation agenda of the colonial masters. It should be emphasized that these plans were prepared by surveyors 
and my station were not comprehensive speech at France. However, the first overall plan for Accra was prepared in 1944 by two architect plans, Masquet Plan and T.S. Plan. In 1958, the town and country planning department, the Dental and Country Planning Department, spearheaded the first official comprehensive demand stronger. We need a sustainable, inclusive, and green economy for people and the planet. That means dealing with the existing challenges of how urban areas are planned, managed, and financed and ensuring sustainable development. This proposed structure plan is envisaged to ensure spatial sustainability in Ghana, which will ensure that physical conditions of the Accra can enhance its power to generate social, economic, and environmental value and wealth. This implies that spatial planning is the fourth room around which all government interventions should revolve. If we get it wrong, all other governments will follow suit. Therefore, the importance of the tax being laid before us at this workshop is very, very clear. Mr. Chairman, fellow colleagues, it is my expectation that this workshop will provide us with practical answers to the issues that will be raised. This workshop is not business as usual. It is output oriented, and we expect concrete results at the end of the workshop. We must critically assess the situation, focusing on the facts and figures, take a logical but optimistic view of issues, and emphasizing the positives in the situation. We must be creative, debating, and generate ideas to address the issues. On this note, Dr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I want to use this occasion to express our sincerest appreciation to the African Government Bank for their financial support the creation of this important structure plan. With respect to the creation of a structure plan to give a broad land uses within the greater Accra metropolitan area. We're talking about in very all the 29 metropolitan municipalities and district assemblies within greater Accra region and also the peripheral you know, regions like uh, Kaswa, Sawam, and then Aburi. So in Bible, we are dealing with about three regions. Greater, the whole of Greater Agra region, part of Central Region, which is Kaswa and Ita Enclave, and also Sawam, which is Eastern Region and Aburi. But we have now observed that there's a continuous development within this enclave. So we cannot plan Agra in isolation. How physical development, burden, roads, open spaces, and what have you, will be broadly, you know, uh, designated so that we use them accordingly. Uh, uh, this is the beginning of the whole process. We're going to do an intensive community sensitization and participation. So we go to even the local, you know, communities to sensitize, sensitize them and also get their input to enrich whatever that we're going to do. We have been able to finish the structure. But, uh, the plan would outline what we are supposed to do in order to achieve the objective of in place to finish this special plan. Chain Chief Executive Officer, Land Use and Special Planning Authority, formerly Thai and Country Planning Department. We are here this morning to make sure that work is progressing steadily. The way forward is that the way Accra is growing, if we don't do anything at all, very soon we wake up and we'll see Accra grown way beyond soon way beyond Kaswa, way beyond Aibin This is not sustainable. And we are here to ensure that this doesn't take place. We are here to ensure that the growth in Accra becomes sustainable, everybody follows the plan, and this will boost economic development. That is what we are here. The expectation is that when you please open up and give them the required inputs. If you don't give them the inputs, they will come and give us something that is technically solid, technically sound, but in terms of practice, it's not workable. Developing a new plan is ongoing. So should they happen to bump into you or your organization or your traditional area, please take time and talk to them.